Hi guys, today is Vlogmas Day 8. Pinecone may look just like snow, but he can't hear the ho ho ho. Santa Hattie still believes we will vlog every day till Christmas Eve. do a tour of my bookshelf because in vlogmas day six I mentioned that and a lot of the comments were saying you guys wanted it so I have another vlogmas video on my bed importing from my camera and I'm going to film my bookshelf tour for you guys pinecone no <laughs> I'm gonna start off by giving you guys a brief overview of the entire bookcase and then I'm going to use this little step stool that I pulled out to be able to give you more pinecone, you're so talkative, a more in-depth tour of each shelf. The fireplace itself I ordered online. I think I got it from Sears.com and it was just a standalone fireplace. So this actual piece was not attached to the rest of what you see built around it. And it is a gel fireplace. So it does technically work like you can light a fire in there. And I was working with an interior decorator at the time. So she helped me design this dresser and bookcase that goes around the fireplace because I needed more storage. I don't have a dresser in this bedroom and I needed a place to put like my socks and my bras and my underwear and my PJs. So that's what's in those drawers. And then I wanted a place to store all of my books. So we actually had it measured to fit this room in particular since it was custom built. And I just kind of drew out what I wanted and what I imagined. And I wanted originally to have a TV in the middle. That's why it's not perfectly, like the painting doesn't fit perfectly, but when it came in, I just loved the painting in there. Then they just matched the paint color and the finish of what the fireplace was already to the rest of the bookcase wood and built it for me. And then these little knobs on the dresser pulls, here I'll zoom in. These are from Anthropology, and I just picked them out. Now I'm going to put my step stool. I borrowed this from Blair's closet. She keeps it in her closet full time. And I'm going to show you a more in-depth tour of all of my shelves. So the first one over here, I don't even need a book or a step stool for. Pinecone things I'm playing with them. You're so cute. So I play with you all the time. Your nose is so pink. These are just books that I have stacked. I actually have them too deep. So like I have more, I think, back here. Yeah, they're like stacked back there too. Um, this shelf I kind of just use as almost like storage for books I've already read and originally I had a lot of these books up here and this is the first thing I see when I wake up in my in the morning because it's directly across from my bed and I didn't like the fact that pretty much all of my books up there were black because a lot of the book series that I was reading at the time are black books and so I decided to have a little bit more fun, colorful books up there in rainbow order and put all of my black ones down here just as storage. Again, I've read all of these books or at least most of these books. Above that, I have more books. These are a little bit more colorful. Some of them were originally up here or they have had a turn up here and then I've pulled them down for various reasons or some of them are actually too tall to go up there like this one's too tall. Pinecone wants to know what I'm looking at. He's like, this is very interesting over here. So more books that I've read. You guys have probably seen glitterchers on some of these or glitterchers hauls. Pinecone is so curious. And then above that, I have two owls. I actually got these at Pottery Barn Kids. I know, like, what am I doing shopping at Pottery Barn Kids? But I thought that they were really, really cute. And they're bookends. I'm going to get on my step stool to show you the next one. Because it's getting high. Hi. He's such an owl. He does that thing with his neck all the time. It's so funny. This is like an owl candle that my sister got me for Christmas last year. It's from Anthropology and it lifts up and there's a candle in there, but I just use it for decor. And then this is a Glitzy Glam brush holder and the beads. And I just put these decorative soaps that I got from Anthropology in here just because I thought it was pretty. And I just like the way this looks. I like how the colors go together. And I could use these soaps, but I think they're so pretty I don't want to use them. This is a clutch that I've used for events before, and I just put it up here because I thought it was pretty. I have my Chanel ballet flats behind that. I got these years ago, and they are a little bit too big for me. I don't know if, like, I've stretched them, which that doesn't make any sense because I don't think your feet, like, get bigger and then get smaller. 
but they are just kind of too a little too big for me so I use them more as decor now than for wear but I used to wear them all the time that summer that I interned at Seventeen Magazine and I was living in Manhattan I literally wore those shoes like every single day because they were comfortable and they were flat and I could walk around Manhattan and not be wearing heels but still being you know dressed up because they're nice dressy shoes Pinecone, you are so funny. And then, oh, and then there's just a book back here. It's called The Book of Tomorrow. I've done a glitter on that. And I just thought it was pretty. It went with the colors of this particular shelf, so I put it back there. And then above that, I have a book there called My Favorite Dress. And I have a pair of my Louboutins that I do wear, though sometimes they're incredibly uncomfortable. There's a scruff there from where I wore them on a rough night one night. <laughs> um... But yeah, I just use them as decor, but when I want to wear them, I pull them down. They're not just for decor, like I actually wear those shoes. On the very top shelf, I have three storage boxes. I got these from Pottery Barn Teen, and they hold all of my camera equipment. So I have a Nikon D5000, I have a bunch of Lomography cameras, and then I have a Canon Rebel T3i. So these big boxes for the Nikon and the Canon just hold like all of my equipment and manuals and boxes and all that kind of stuff if I ever want to return them or resell them. And then my Lomography box is chock full of just like all sorts of things that I've, as like extras that I've gotten with my Lomography cameras. And then this is my pretty rainbow shelf. So I'll do a slow pan so you can see all of the titles. I've done a glitter on quite a few of these books. I know I did one on Insurgent and Entwined and the selection and the midwife of venice a lot of these pine cone look at him you're such a bad boy he just gets into everything he's so curious all the time so yeah mocking jay i've done one on trapped i've done one on delirium a lot of these these tend to be more of my favorite books i don't know why maybe just because they're colorful and pretty loved pandemonium oh my goodness that was such a good book i did a glitter turn on that too the top shelf on this side has two of my louis vuitton bags this one right here is my old lady purse this was the very first like big designer purse that i ever owned and i love her so much she's probably my all-time favorite bag because I just have so many great memories with her. And then this was like a little bag. This is actually a vintage Louis Vuitton. I bought it used. Like I bought it at like a reseller. And had it off authorized or authenticated or whatever. To make sure it was real. And I used this as my going out bag in college. It's a Speedy 25. But I loved it because it was already like old and kind of beat up. So I didn't like feel bad taking it to frat parties and stuff. Because... It had already been used and it was already so like vintage looking and I loved that about it. This shelf is kind of a mishmash of just things that didn't really have another place. This is my favorite Diana camera. It's beautiful. The flash is from a Diana mini that's actually on this shelf. So it came with this one. But I use this camera the most out of all my Lomography cameras. So I just have the flash on there. I have a fairy tale book, a pretty mirror that I got from Hot Look, and this... I got painted. It was like a brown when I got it, but I love the cream. And then a glittery pine cone because, you know, my baby down here is named pine cone, so I like pine cone things. And a cigar box purse that I got from Etsy, and I think it's really pretty. Again, just kind of decoration. I have kind of a Paris theme going on in my room, if you can't tell. The next one down, I have a little baby lamb stuffed animal. I have lambs and owls all over my room. My Diana mini Lomography camera. I have a few miniature perfumes just for decor, a few cell phone cases that I thought just like went with the colors of this shelf. I know I'm so silly. A book that my sister got me for Christmas that says everything is going to be okay. A little clock, again from Pottery Barn Kids. And a book called The Repurposed Library that Blair got me for Christmas last year. A lot of these things I got as Christmas presents or gifts or they're things that I actually use on a regular basis, like the cameras, the cell phone cases, the perfumes, but I double them up as decor as well because they're pretty. The next one down, I'm going to step down. Okay, this is one of my favorite shelves because it's very Parisian themed. A Minnie Mouse coffee cup that Ingrid, Miss Glamoroxy, gave me recently and I think it's so adorable. I actually set it up here when she gave it to me just as kind of like I kind of like put it out of the way so Pinecone couldn't knock it down. And then I just loved the way it looked, so I kept it here. Again, kind of as decor. I'm so crazy. I have a couple of books in the back. The Gospel According to Coco Chanel. 
Parisian chic. The one in the back is called My Even More Wonderful World of Fashion. And then I have my Parisian Diana camera from Lomography. This was a limited edition camera and I just think the colors of it are so beautiful. So I needed to get it just because I thought it was gorgeous. Even though it does the exact same thing as my Diana Dreamer camera, which is the one up there, the green one. I just loved the way it looked. It's so pretty and preppy looking. The last shelf are all of my perfumes. I have a perfume collection video that I'll link below if you guys want to see more about that. But Pinecone gets up there and messes it up all the time. And then the last thing is just what is on the top of the fireplace part. I just have some books that I haven't read yet. I hauled these in a previous Vlogmas video. And some candles, including one that Pinecone knocked over. Pinecone knocked over the Pinecone one. That's kind of funny. Lunch in Paris, which just kind of goes with the painting. I just thought it was pretty, so it's propped up and a little pumpkin. So that was my entire bookshelf tour. I would go through and read like all of the titles of all of the books, but I really don't think that that's that interesting, especially since you guys can just see it on the video, you know? But I do know that people wanted me to go through all of the shelves and kind of show it in depth. So I hope this video was what you guys wanted. Let me know if you have any questions below, and I'm going to go ahead and do Christmas Countdown and the giveaway, which, by the way, today's giveaway is going to be really, really cool. Today we're taking down number 17. This one's so funny. It says, make an elf yourself for someone who needs a good laugh. I'll link it below. I'm sure you guys know what it is, but it's basically a website where you can put your pictures in and little elves that look like you do little dances, and it's really funny, and I do it every year. So that is today's, um, like... What do I even call these things? Like today's fun tip of the day in the Christmas countdown? And for today's giveaway, I have one in particular that I think will be really cute with the theme of today's video. Hello, elephant mouse. It is this bag. So it's a Santa with a little box end. I think the bag itself is so cute. This is the biggest size bag. And what's inside is very special. Back when I bought my Diana Parisian camera that's right there, I decided to buy two of them because they were limited edition and I just thought that they were so cute that I couldn't help myself. I knew I wanted to get one for me and one for just someone else out in the world. So today, I've been holding on to this for a while, I am giving away my second Diana Parisian Lomography camera. So the one thing I do ask about today's giveaway is don't enter this one unless you yourself particularly has always wanted to try film photography. This I don't think you should just get as like just to see if maybe you'll win it or if you think oh I don't want it but I'll know a friend that does because film photography is kind of tricky. A lot of people aren't going to be into it because with all the digital cameras these days it's a lot of work. And this doesn't take 35 millimeter film. This takes 120. I definitely don't think that this would be a foolproof camera to give someone because if you don't know where to get 120 film or how to get it developed or how to even use this camera, they probably won't end up using it at all. So for today's giveaway, I want you guys to write a comment below telling me why you want a Lomography camera. Um, so that I know that you actually like genuinely want to kind of try with film photography. This was a limited edition camera. I don't think you can get it anymore. Maybe you can, but I did get this a long time ago and I kind of was saving it. I will also link my vintage glitz videos below where I talk more in depth about these cameras. If you guys haven't seen those videos, it's my vintage glitz series on this channel. And give this video a thumbs up and be subscribed to both my channels. Um, if you want to be eligible, and you can write your Twitter name and Instagram name below if you want extra entries. I guess I'll do Facebook too, because a lot of people have been saying, well, why, why can't I follow you on Facebook for an extra entry? So you can do that too. I'll put all three of the links below. So that is today's giveaway, and Elephant Mouse says goodbye for now, and I will see you guys tomorrow with day nine. Just like snow, but he can't hear the ho ho ho. And Santa Cat, he still believes we will vlog every day till Christmas Eve.